What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0. Uh, it's against this uh, fighter KEB clan, the Cambodian clan. Uh, they gave it the best. It uh, wasn't the greatest of uh, matchups, but uh, flip over and check out what happened. <clears throat> uh, 65 to 52. Uh, so good job for 2.0. Uh, 4150 attacks. They, they kind of gave it their best. So uh, you see they missed Moose there, one star on Matt. Um, pretty much twos all the way down a few three stars in there nothing crazy a um, couple decent attacks uh, but other than that there was they really struggled you know 18 to 5 on the three star count there so uh, flip over see we actually had a couple shortcomings on our two star attempts on one and two um, so that's uh, uncharacteristic but we did have a tri uh, good old KNX TH10 triple and cleared all the nines good job nines good job guys good job tens uh, yeah uh, fantastic work boys uh, got a lot of really good uh, replays to show here so that we're just gonna jump in and check out the man KNX's TH10 triple sorry I lied we have two TH10 triples I kind of skipped over it so it's a surprise who it is <laughs> uh, so KNX just goes in here typical typical fashion a couple giants really just so you can make sure he creates that funnel gets he wants to get that king in there on that queen he wants to use his queen to get this air defense um, has to reach probably a little earlier than I expected than he expected I'm sure uh, but it didn't matter got the air defense BAM Kings going in any seconds gonna lock onto this queen and there he goes couple swipes got to get her down gets her down just in time nice job lava hounds already in on these air defense on the uh kind of 11 o'clock in the uh sorry i guess like 8 30 positions here uh hates go go around he really has to fight this sweeper here so ends up getting that freeze down it's really good timing on that uh the sweeper in between that gave him really good value uh has one more freeze and a rage uh in the bag still so freeze is about to go down take care of this sweeper expo and inferno on the other side and there it goes gonna rage the rest of this right over top of that air defense that's remaining and it's gg or maybe yeah there it goes over the teslas really they're gonna bounce from this inferno back up to the teslas pretty much at this point gg does have this air defense to worry about down here but so many units all over pops are doing cleanup this entire time just really needs to get a couple balloons to hop on over to that air defense there he's got enough pops around here kind of buying his one balloon just enough time to get over there oh and the pups finish it off <laughs> just a nail biter on this one but pulls it through k and x nice triple buddy Bam. Three stars. All right. So the mystery TH10 triple. Uh, another uh, actually TH10. I didn't notice that we missed when I was looking at it earlier. But um, so we're working on that. We do have a lot of, uh, first of all, um, that was a Town Hall 9, uh, getting that one star uh, as well. Um, we do have a lot of, not a lot, but we have some guys uh, in this the lower TH10 positions that just went up from nine in anticipation of the update. Uh, so obviously that's a whole new learning curve and uh, so on and so on. So uh, boom, Matt, not the greatest TH10, as you'll see. Um, all TH9, yep, all TH9 stuff. So um, seven and eight heroes i don't know why you'd go up to 10 and drop these infernos but matt makes him pay with his max heroes here just going to do a bit of a queen for queen swap here his queen's just going to get a huge value out of this really as soon as she goes down he's going to rage it up jump goes down oh there's a hole in the base too so he drops all these uh giants and his king king's going to take out the inferno and the air defense there Bam, air defense down, Inferno is down. So really, he's looking super pretty at this point. Sends in uh, Lava Hound. He's got three more on the bag. He's going to sprinkle balloons all on the outer edge here. Nice and kind of good placements. Literally, is, is going to be two per defense. As they go down, Rage goes down over top of Tesla. Looking good. A couple more hounds for that back end air defense. They're going down. He's just going to continue this ring of balloons. Got three haste that are about to go down at a horseshoe. Uh, does get a freeze down on that air defense and the Inferno at the same time. So that's good value there. Uh, here come the first couple haste. Got one more haste for this back end. His last Lava Hound is now deployed. Uh, things are looking pretty good at this point. Just got to get those cleanup ways down, which I think go down any second now um, but Matt looking good buddy 
Last air defense is going down. Tesla goes down. He's got cleanup absolutely all over the base. A few of those pups lock on a lava hound, but it doesn't matter. Balloons everywhere. Nice job, Maddie. That barracks. That barracks. <laughs> Three stars. Beautiful. Right, let's uh, check out some of these Town Hall 9 attacks. I love showing Nightmares attack. <laughs> and I want to show this attack. This attack did not go as planned for Nightmare. And I wanted to show this attack. And hopefully he doesn't get upset with me for showing it. Because it does really go horribly wrong for him. But it works out in the end because he manages to keep his composure. So I kind of wanted to show it to show, you know, a lot of times raids don't go how you plan it. And if you can manage to keep your composure through it and do what Nightmare does here and just continue on with the plan um, and just make the best of it, you can a lot of times still come away with the three star. So see, he drops his king. King's going for the jump. And he's like, nope, I'm going for that Builder's Hut. Drops the Test Valk. Test Valk goes for the Builder's Hut. So then he drops two more Valks and then go for this Elixir Storage. Drops another Valk. It goes for the Builder's Hut. <laughs> At this point in the raid, he's like, man, I'm screwed. Like, there's no way. Like, we've all been there. So it's three. There's a lot, but look at him just slowly deploying these Valks that none of them are going in the direction he wants to. Because he's got 21 balloons in the bag and needed to get all these air defense. And that just doesn't look possible at this point. But ends up pulling it out. He's got Valks all on the outside here. His king gets in there, takes down the town hall, buys his queen just enough time to step in on these last two air defense. Starts slowly deploying the balloons. Super patient here. And ends up pulling out the three. All air defense are down, just as planned. The plan has now kind of come back on course. Got balloons coming in at all angles of the of the base. Really, there's only a handful of defenses remaining. Like nightmare. Great, great composure, man. Way to way to hang on, and just just be patient and and watch out at how it played out and deploy accordingly. Because I know this plan was not. Sorry, this attack did not go as you planned whatsoever. Air skeletons there screwing with you. Like, <laughs> I'm sure you were as amazed as I were that this ended up being a three star but it really the reason it was was because of just the way you kind of kept your composure there man so nice attack nice nice attack good recovery three stars right number 20 I got marked down here who is that fearless leader chief Kev in the house um I got some business uh, saying I don't show enough tax from the bottom of the map. So, I mean, like, you know, 15, 15 hero guys, uh, number 20 of the 25 man war. So I, I do always do my best to show the bottom of some attacks here, but I'm going to do, especially uh, make note of that. All my videos, I'm going to always show that at least the couple in the bottom five. Um, so you'll see Kev just here goes, creates a huge funnel, sends the golems in. This is basically a pure max attack he's bringing. He's going to heal, heal, kill squad. He's going to rage the kill squad. Poison is down for the CC troops. Sends in the king. Fantastic patience. Nothing is touching that king. Raid right until it's right in there on the very first air defense. Still nothing is touching that king. Um, the heal goes down probably a bit early. He could have probably, I think, healed up in here. But how do you critique a three-star? Um, King's just beating everything. Queen is in there taking stuff out. Uh, goes ahead and sends the Lava Hounds in on that top air defense. A few uh, balloons on each of the point defenses out there. Um, they converge on that Wizard Tower looking good. Same thing kind of on this bottom air defense. Everything's shifting down now. He's three Lava Hounds on this one remaining air defense. And the Queen is stepping up and attacking it as we speak. So looking good. Both heroes have used their abilities, but it doesn't matter at this point. There's, you know, this little Tesla farm, which he actually needs. Like, if you'll see, these Lava Hounds don't burst. He still has three, all three Lava Hounds still alive, but the Teslas burst them at the exact perfect moments. Just burst one. He's got a couple, like, balloons kind of on this back end, trying to delay that Wizard Tower. Perfect timing on the one. Just basically going to target that one balloon. Everything is going down as we speak. It is clean up. Chief Kev. Pulls out the nice three-star. Good job, man. Nice max attack. Fearless Lita. All right. I'm only showing this because Mal said it was recap worthy. Uh, again, no. From the bottom five, right? I mean, I guess my hair is a little higher. 22, 20. However, um, that Tesla kind of screwed with my lure. 
so you'll see I was absolutely amazed because the, the clan castle went on the cannon. I was almost going to lure on that cannon initially. So it didn't happen, and I just said, screw it. I'm just going in. Probably could have just done that in the first place. So I'm going to go ahead and go with a shattered entry here about the 2-2-30 position. Uh, just really create a bit of a funnel all on the outside. Uh, my goal here was to just make sure that I left this elixir storage alive. Break that wall of that exact moment. Queen's going to go down and take care of this crap. And I immediately drop the Valks because I want them to lock onto that Elixir Storage. Same with the King. The before, If I had dropped that King after the Elixir Storage had died, it was a chance he would have walked. So that was a huge, a very small window um, that I had planned for. Uh, I got Rage down for the Valks. Heal goes down for the Valks. They're going to move into this core and just shred everything else. So if you'll notice, I brought 7 Hogs and 10 Balloons. So the Hogs come in to take out this section. I was worried about the traps. But I didn't want to just go pure balloons because I was also worried about these behind air defense. And exactly, it played out exactly how I imagined. The Valks are inside this core and those air defense were going to take too long. So these hogs take down this first one and allow me to start deploying my balloons on the outskirts of the radius of that air defense. And as you can see, one more hit, it's gone down. I got a bunch of balloons moving into the base. Basically, it is GG from this point. And I see there's that bomb in that back end. If I went all hogs and invested that, that could have really screwed me. So that's kind of why I went and decided to go with the go Valoho here. Um, but as you can see, it worked out fantastic. Whenever you get a big ring base like this, and if you can manage to funnel Valks properly and get inside there with a rage and a heal, you're going to get amazing value. Because you see, I still, my queen hasn't been touched. I didn't even touch the rage on her. Nice job, Wiser. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm going to call it a night here. Uh, just wanted to give you a quick recap of this one. It was a good one. But trying to pump up some content. Uh, base building series with CAD should be now live uh, by, or should be public by now. So hope you guys enjoyed that. We're, uh, we're going to try and get together maybe once a week or something like that and really just focus on some specifics of base building. Plus, I'm uh, on the horizon. I'm going to try and continue to do some more theory craft at some basic uh, level. Um, like nothing too advanced, I meant to say. I, I guess I'm trying to say. Um, but certain things like Arch Queen, like in chamber sizing, uh, we'll have an episode on that and, and, and build some things there. Um, we're going to have an episode on pathing, hog pathing, loom pathing, golem pathing, uh, things like that. Um, you know, so just uh, I, I hope to really, you know, we're going to be flooding labs with a lot of content. Um, I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. Uh, so that should do it for me, though, guys. Uh, that's your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next three star. And until then, I'm out.